What's up, YouTube fam? I got the earpiece on. Hopefully, y'all can hear me a little clear because this truck make a little bit of noise. But uh, I just want to make a quick video, just touch with y'all uh, more cons that you need to look out for when you purchase a 15 passenger bus or uh, uh, just a 15 passenger um, van. You know, you want to, you definitely want to look at your rotors, your rotors, your calibers. And your brakes you know if you take it to a shop you know get them look at it for you uh and your in and out of tie rods those things go out on uh, 15 passengers and buses a lot uh often than they do on regular cars uh for some reason uh extra large vehicles i guess is the material that they make it with for some reason it rushed out for some reason I, why i don't know but uh definitely look into that it's not you know, it's an easy fix and it's not saying don't buy if you're looking to get into a 15 passenger van or anything like that uh but you know you, your negotiation price you know if you know those things are going bad on the car that can get you a better price then you know you just get it fixed down the line you know but for me for this bus i'm just gonna do i'm doing uh rotors and calibers and brakes all the way around you know, and I'm gonna do the in and out of tire rods. That's probably gonna run me, you know, anywhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred. But I'm just going and get it done. I'm hoping I can get it done for around that price. Uh, I gotta get in and out of tire rods done on a fifteen patch of van also. So just be mindful of stuff like that because you want to make sure your uh, your calibers are working right. My calibers act. One of my calibers seized on my fifteen passenger about two weeks ago. Cost about a thousand dollars to get uh, brakes, uh, calibers, rotors. But if uh, get everything cleaned out, get the line, bled, you know. But that was a, a shop that charged a little bit more because I got calibers done before at another shop when it cost about 800, you know. So you can shop around, but go to a shop where you know your work is going to be done the correct way. If you got to pay the money, just pay it. But those are definitely issues in 15 passenger vans and buses. In and out of tire rods, calibers, brakes, caliper seizing up and, and messing up the rollers and stuff. So just be mindful of that. Okay, the next thing I want to just let y'all know, I will be checking emails on Fridays and Saturdays. I know a lot of y'all email me, but I'm, I'm finally trying to live off the schedule, y'all make a schedule that's all the part you, know, you got to be disciplined in order to grow but i won't be getting back i won't be checking emails until fridays and saturdays so if y'all email me for that just know i'm not going to check it but you will get a reply you know on friday evening or saturday evening uh, i'm gonna try to reply to everybody and answer everybody question uh it's the best that i can answer because y'all know i don't know everything i don't know to tell y'all is what I'm going through and what I've done. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is people always ask me questions about uh, is it worth it, is it money in this business, etc. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> if it wasn't money in it, you guys, I wouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? So I understand what you're really asking me. You're really asking me how much money are you making without asking. That's what I feel like some of y'all be asking. <laughs> but uh, of course, I'm not going to tell y'all exactly how much money I make now. Because I don't want nobody to know exactly how much money I make. But I can give y'all a range uh, of how much money I'm making. You know, give you a range. Now, you know, if I was doing like a, a course and all this stuff, I don't feel like I'm high. I just don't want nobody to know exactly what I'm making. But. Maybe I will one day, but right now I give y'all range. I'm giving y'all ranges just to kind of help y'all out. But uh, I would to hit 15 to two grand a week. I feel like you're gonna need two 15 passenger vans. Uh, I don't feel like you're gonna make it do it with a caravan or the Honda Odyssey and stuff like that unless you can charge more. You know, you can you can charge the average around 15 dollars one way, anywhere between 13 to 15 dollars one way. Oh, man, I hope it don't uh, get too loud. My earpiece just went dead. But you can charge the fit, fifteen dollars one way. You can charge anywhere between seventy eight or seventy eighty dollars 
a week. Like I really don't charge by the day. I charge about a week. But if you hit around seventy, eighty dollars a week, you should be in good shape. Um, of course, you give them a little discount if they doing round trip. You know, or you can do it like this. If you don't feel comfortable charging eighty dollars one way, you can give them. You can say, well, maybe two miles from the school, I'm gonna charge you fifty dollars or sixty dollars. But anything over 2.5 miles, you won't charge them the whole 80, you know? But the biggest thing you gotta understand with child transportation, you gotta try to swing two, three schools. So like one school that we do, uh, we picking up 12 kids from that school. The other school we doing, man, we picking up eight kids from that school. You know, in the morning time, we got like seven, eight kids that's going, you know what I mean? So you're gonna have more business in the evening than you are in the morning time. So that's what you got to try to focus on, getting two, three schools in the same areas because sometimes, man, you might take one vehicle and hit all three of those schools, you know? But if you got two 15 passengers, you should be able to handle two to three schools. And uh, you talking about you working from three to four, three to 4.30, you be back home 4.30, you know what I mean? So you working an hour and a half and you leave out 2.30, Get to where you're going at. You get there by three. You hit the school, get the kids, you drop everybody off in the hour. You be back home by 4.30, 3.30. So yeah, yeah. You leave out 2.30, that's two hours. In the morning time, you might leave out 6.30 and you might be home by uh, eight. You know what I mean? So you're talking about three and a half hours. You got one truck running in the morning. Like right now, we only run running one vehicle in the morning, you know, but like I said, you definitely can hit 15 to two grand a week. I give y'all a little rank. 15 to, you know, 15 to 20, 20 something hundred a week. You definitely can do that with two drivers. Now you gotta figure out if, I'm gonna go in more detail on this on another video. You gotta figure out if you're gonna be driving yourself or you're gonna be paying somebody part time. But charge higher in the beginning. That way when it's time to pay somebody to do the job for you, you still making a little bit of money, you know? It's almost like it's, uh, the money just generated for you, you ain't really doing nothing. So me, I still step in and drive sometimes, um, but November, somebody, I won't be driving at all. November, December, I'll be out of it completely driving. Uh, right now, I really don't want nobody driving this bus but me, to be honest with you. I just wanna drive it for a little bit, just make sure everything working on it, make sure everything, everything's straight. But, uh, so yeah, so I think if you hang around that range, you'd be good by all means. Definitely have some fillers, man. Do some other runs. Like I'm trying to, I try to do that with just strictly child. 15 to 22, 15 to 2300 a week. I'm trying to do that, you know, just stay right there just for child. And then if I'm doing anything for the hospital or any type of other runs that come, that's just my little fillers you know, to make sure I hit my quota, to try to hit my quota every week. So I would say uh, do the child, but you know you're gonna need like some bigger vehicles to do child transportation. I know I wasn't saying this at first, but now I'm, I'm pushing this, like I feel like you're gonna need 15 passengers in order to do child effective, like to really get it where you're trying to get it going at. You can start with the smaller vehicles like I did, you know, but uh, and I still have one smaller vehicle, but uh, you have to charge a little higher, unless you can just do pick up, drop, then do another pick up, then drop. So that's what I was doing at first, pick up, drop balls, then going to another school, pick up, drop balls. Now I can go, bam, with both of the vehicles, we can go, instead of doing that pick up, drop off, then pick up with two vehicles, we had that doing like with three vehicles at one time. Now we got two big, bigger vehicles. We can go pick up here, pick up there, and then drop AI off together. So, you know, you gotta start from somewhere. So, I just wanted to just drop this little short video, y'all, not really saying too much. Definitely want y'all to think about that before buying the bus. But y'all be blessed, I'll catch y'all on the next one.